This man and his wife agreed to be in an open relationship, but any man that sleeps with his wife ends up dying mysteriously. Watch till the end to uncover the mysteries behind their death. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Melinda and Vic Van Allen reside with their daughter Trixie in Little Wesley, Louisiana. Vic, who retired early after creating guidance chips for military drones, shares a strained relationship with Melinda. Sustained by a fragile agreement, they sleep in separate rooms, and Melinda openly has affairs, even within their home. Vic, meanwhile, takes comfort in caring for his extensive snail collection. Their unconventional marriage is well known to their worried friends, and as Visa's jealousy intensifies, Melinda expresses frustration over his emotional detachment. Melinda brings her newest lover, Joel, to a neighbor's party. While alone with Joel, Vic claims that he killed Melinda's former lover, Martin, who recently went missing. This rumor circulates among their friends, sparking the curiosity of noir novelist Don Wilson. Later, Joel joins the Van Allen family for dinner, and in private, Vic expands on his story, saying he murdered Martin with a hammer, scaring Joel into leaving town. A news broadcast soon reveals that Martin's body has been discovered with gunshot wounds, and a suspect has been arrested. Vic confronts Melinda when she gives money to Charlie, her latest lover and piano instructor. Melinda invites Charlie to a friend's pool party, teasing Vic by flaunting her new relationship. As rain forces the guests indoors, Vic and Charlie are left alone in the pool. When Melinda finds Charlie's drowned body, the police question the party attendees, and Melinda immediately accuses Vic of murder. Later, Vic asks if she is afraid of him, to which she responds that she isn't, adding, I'm the one you killed for. Don's wife, Kelly, informs Vic that both Don and Melinda have been accusing him of murdering Charlie. Vic soon learns they've hired a private investigator to keep an eye on him, and he confronts Don in front of his family. Meanwhile, Melinda rekindles a romance with an old boyfriend, Tony, and Vic overhears them discussing plans to move to Brazil and take Trixie with them. To provoke Vex's jealousy even more, Melinda invites Tony to dinner and later takes him to her bedroom. Vic tricks Tony into his car and drives him to a secluded spot he and Melinda often visit, which overlooks a rocky gorge. There, he throws stones at Tony, causing him to fall down the hill to his death and sinks his body in a creek. Later, Melinda brings Vic and their daughter to the same spot for a picnic. Vic presents Melinda with a collection of secret photos he's taken of her, symbolizing his love. However, he notices Tony's body has resurfaced in the creek. Back home, Vic offers to return in the morning to retrieve Melinda's missing scarf. She contacts Don about it but still invites Vic to sleep in her bed that night. The following day, Vic returns to the creek to dispose of Tony's body, but Don catches him in the act and drives off to alert the authorities. Vic chases after him on his bike, taking a shortcut through the brush in an attempt to intercept him. As Vic tumbles out of the bushes and falls into the road, Don, distracted by texting, swerves to avoid him and ends up driving off a cliff, leading to his death. Meanwhile, at home, Melinda discovers Tony's wallet hidden in one of Vic's snail enclosures. She begins packing to leave, but Trixie throws the suitcase into the pool, insisting they stay. When Vic returns, Melinda cryptically tells him she saw Tony, but then proceeds to burn Tony's wallet and ID. If you enjoyed this video, please do well to like, subscribe, and comment on what movies you want us to review for you. Also, turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks, and see you in the next video.